Welcome to DataBuild's audio visual instruction. This session looks at Cost Center Basics. Click the Cost Center icon in the main toolbar. The Cost Center screen appears. Cost Centers are the categories we split our jobs into. This Cost Center bank has been labeled Residential Construction and as you can see we have entered our Cost Centers in the order of construction of the job. We also have a cost center bank labeled company overheads for our overhead cost centers. When processing financial data like supplier invoices, the system requires a cost center to be allocated to each entry. Let's add a new cost center. We'll insert a cost center into the residential construction cost centers bank. We want to include town planning in the list between engineer and contractors insurance, so we'll choose a number that will automatically sort it numerically. Click the Add a New Cost Center icon. A box appears on the screen and you enter in the number and click OK. The system slots in the new cost center so you can type in the name. Type in Town Planning and that is how you enter a new cost center. Let's say you want to add in a whole new cost center bank for a different type of construction. Click the Add a New Cost Center Bank icon and give your cost center bank a code number. These are simply numbered in ascending order. Type in the name of your cost center bank, in this case commercial construction. This is like starting from scratch. Click the add a new cost center icon as we did before and enter the details of the cost centers you would like in this cost center bank. We'll just add three cost centers to get the general idea. Cost center one, preliminaries, Notice when we add, we use the right set of icons up on the toolbar. Cost Center 2. The left set of icons up there are for Cost Center Banks. Add again. Cost Center 3. Now let's go through the process of deleting a Cost Center. Back here in the Residential Cost Centers, we will delete the Town Planning Cost Center. Simply highlight or select the cost center you want to delete, then click the rubbish bin icon in the toolbar. Make sure it's the bin on the right hand section of the toolbar. The cost center is gone. Now let's go through the process of deleting a cost center bank. Select the cost center bank. You must delete all the cost centers in the bank before you can delete the cost center bank itself. Select all the cost centers in the bank by clicking the select all icon in the toolbar. Click the rubbish bin icon and that will delete the selected cost centers. Then, as the cost center bank you want to delete is already selected, click the rubbish bin icon in the cost center bank section of the toolbar in the left group of icons. While you are learning the basics of your system, check the drop down menus and their contents to see what's available. Be careful when deleting, there is no undo function. That's it for this lesson. Thanks for watching.